Hello, and welcome to the Paint Editor Tools in Scratch Junior with me, Miss Green at Hoyas in Ed. We're going to begin by pressing the paintbrush option to get us to the character canvas in the sprites menu. On the left hand side, you have these wonderful tools from line width options, thin to thick, and right above the line width options are all of your shape options from lines, circles, rectangles, and triangles. Once you save a character, it goes into your gallery, but I'm gonna manipulate this one a little bit more with these over here on the right-hand side, such as the camera tool. I can take an image with the camera tool using my iPad's device. I can take it from within or reverse the camera and take it without. So that means I could take an image of myself or an image from my environment. At any time, I can cut, paste, rotate, or even fill that image with something different. It's very creative, this paint editor. So all of the paint palettes that you have as options are right here in the bottom two rows of this paint editor tools. I'm gonna select it by the, pressing this arrow and I wanna duplicate that image by pressing the stamp icon. It's a wonderful way for you to design multiple layers within your Scratch Junior program. At any point, if you don't like something, you can always press the left arrow up here on the left hand side to undo something. And if you want to redo something, you're going to press the arrow that points to the right hand side. So the undo and redo options are excellent. When you're ready, press this button all the way up here on the right hand side to click and save that particular sprite that you've just designed. So here I'm just gonna manipulate these two little guys. Maybe I'll make a third. Nah, let's just take him out. So you're gonna see me manipulate them and there they show up on my wonderful stage. And I'm just gonna mess around with these two guys and have a little fun coding script as they grow bigger, etc. Now here's the wonderful thing. If I click that add page option, guess what? There's also a paint editor within backgrounds. This is excellent if I want to create a game or an end card to my story. Same tools apply. So if I want to take a picture of my environment or me, that's me, I can always change the camera on my iPad and take an image of my environment. So let's say you're on a field trip or let's say you're around your school or even in your classroom. You could take an image of that space and put your characters within it. You can even personalize it by painting different parts of your space. So here we go. I'm in my little cafe and my little characters are having some fun sitting in the chair. Now there's one more thing that I want you to notice in your paint editor options. You can also manipulate any of the characters, sprites, or backgrounds that are currently in your gallery. So here I'm taking an image of the library and I can change any of my objects within my library and color and paste and do all sorts of different things to personalize it for my background. So that's what I did here. And you could also do that with characters. So we can do different designs, manipulate different elements and do so much more using the paint editor tools in Scratch Junior. So have fun, be creative, and see you next time. Thanks for watching.